Okay, this is Stu, and uh, I think the best way for me to absorb something, especially when I buy it, is to read it out loud and then listen to it myself. This is YouTube Marketing 2.0, written by prodigy of the internet, Ryan Dice. If you're like the rest of us, you've probably watched about a million hilarious cat videos on YouTube. You may have even created a YouTube channel with a foggy notion that maybe one day it becomes important to your business. Today is that day. According to Compete.com, YouTube is currently ranked fourth in the world in terms of traffic. It's also the second largest search site on the web, ahead of both Yahoo and Bing. But you know what's even more important? YouTube enjoys a very special relationship with the world's undisputed search leader. Actually, Google has owned YouTube since 2006, so it's pretty safe to assume that they're pals. As you can imagine, this very special relationship has benefited, benefited both parties tremendously. In this report, we'll show you how it's going to benefit you. What is YouTube marketing? Well, video is where the web is headed. The numbers say it all. There are currently 60 hours of video uploaded on YouTube every minute of every day. One hour of video content every second. In fact, Cisco is scrambling to re-engineer its routers to deal with what they call the video onslaught. They're predicting that by 2015, at least 90% of all internet traffic will be video. More than half of all web traffic after 5 p.m. is already video traffic. YouTube, Netflix, and other companies serving prime video. In short, YouTube marketing is an exciting new strategy we've come up with at Digital Marketer to take advantage of the web's massive shift towards video. At Digital Marketer, we're constantly reviewing to a Wayne Beretsky quote, go where the puck is going to be. Not to repeat ourselves, but all of these facts illustrate one thing, video is where the web is going. Why do you need YouTube marketing? Well, this is, isn't something amazing, Nostradamus prediction or anything. It's been happening for years now. It's just that now they move towards the video um, and it's reached a critical mass, a tipping point where the momentum will swing and things will start to speed up. That is why it's so important to learn and test these strategies right now. It'll give you a huge leg up on the competition moving forward. Think about it. As all others struggle to establish their company on YouTube, you'll have an established presence with a top-ranked video. Believe us, it's very hard to knock a popular YouTube video out of the number one spot. As a bonus, you'll also benefit from the massive and almost instantaneous rise in your Google ranking. And it goes without saying that a front page Google rank is as good as gold. And we all like gold, that's right. Anyway, I added that just to be funny. Um, did you know that the top listing in Google's organic research results gets an average of 46% of the clicks? Again, I'm going to repeat that because I had no idea what I said. Did you know that the top listing in Google's organic search results gets an average of 46% of the clicks? The second gets around 25% and the third gets 13%. That means all the rest of the results on page one, paid and organic, fight over the remaining 16%. The paid results only get about 5% of traffic. That, it's a horrible affliction referred to as ad blindness. Imagine for a moment that the first listing has a YouTube thumbnail. What percentage of clicks do you think it may get then? Whew, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of talk in here. Okay, one. Best practices, channels versus pages. As you begin to think about YouTube strategically, it's important that you reset the way you look at YouTube channels versus YouTube pages. Simply put, you need to think of YouTube as a kind of second website. Your channel is the home page that anchors your YouTube website. Your videos are the web pages. Again, you need to think of YouTube as a kind of second website. Your channel is the home page that anchors your YouTube website. Your videos are the web pages. Every video you have on your channel strengthens the website because every video points back to your channel page. The more authoritative your channel home page becomes, the easier it becomes for your site to rank. Here's a key thing to remember, the rules of 
good web design apply to YouTube the same when they apply uh, the way they apply elsewhere. To build authority, you need to keep your videos relevant to the theme of your channel. Whether your niche is model trains or growing azaleas, you should create a specific channel for each major topic. In other words, there's no benefit to throwing a ton of unrelated videos on one channel that would simply dilute your channel's authority. Follow this rule and your ranking and quality will skyrocket video creation. This is usually the first big challenge that comes up when a first time or wants to launch your YouTube channel. Most people are a bit camera shy. They don't feel comfortable having their face plastered all over YouTube and the web. Here's the good news. You don't have to become a YouTube celebrity. In fact, uh, it might actually be better if you don't appear in your YouTube videos, but we'll go into that discussion later in the report. What is your video's purpose? Before you even begin the creation process, you have a very important decision to make. What purpose should your video serve? Here's a list of goals you might want to video to archive. To build your website's readership, your video is a great opportunity to encourage viewers to check out your real website. This move can often lead uh, to an opt-in or even a sale down the road. To capture a lead, you can also ask for any opt-in directly to the video. Simply draw attention to a link list on your video, explain to the visitors that once um, they've opted in. Okay, explain what visitors will get once they opt it down. I'm sorry. In addition, it's really important that you track all of the leads you're getting from YouTube because they're educated about your product and informed. And, if, and an informed lead is worth ten times the value of an uneducated lead. True. To build your brand, um, to build your website brand, this one's really our least favorite. While most brands do this almost exclusive, it's really hard to tell if you're accomplishing anything because it's not really measurable in any way. Brand. How do you brand? Well, to make a direct sale, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't present a call to action in your video and provide a link that goes directly to an order form. We're actually shocked to see how few people actually do it. To sell an affiliate product, here's the uh, three best affiliate marketing strategies we've seen on YouTube. Open box buy. In these videos, affiliates will simply open a product in a YouTube video showing viewers exactly what's inside the packaging. Then they'll provide their affiliate link to that product on Amazon or wherever else. And two reviews, YouTube reviews are another great way to relieve buying and anxiety uh, basically for anyone. Um, you can provide an affiliate link. Training videos. Uh, lastly, mainly affiliates make money by simply training viewers how to use a complicated product and then sending those educated leads to their affiliate link. Video sequence. For those of you familiar with our other trainings, you know that we like to stress the importance of sequencing. Timing is everything. And sequencing is the key to making sure your timing is perfect. While we're on the subject of timing, the ideal length of your YouTube video is probably around three minutes. It's yours. I'm sorry. If yours is an in-depth training video, you might have to do, go considerably longer. Still, we recommend you keep it under ten minutes if at all possible. Also, don't forget to include a call to action every three minutes. There is an old marketing saying that goes, "Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them what you." Uh, what? Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them what you tell them. Tell them what you told them. That's more or less the format we recommend this week. Here's a seven-step se sequence to... Oh, gosh. Here's the uh, seven-step sequence that we use at Digital Marketer. Intro and branding. Okay. In the first step of the sequence, you want to inform viewers about who you are and where else they can connect with your brand, like uh, Facebook, maybe talk about Twitter, maybe Amazon, you have a product, or maybe you're on something else. But that's what they're encouraging that you do. Um, to, you also want to tell them what's in it for them immediately after your brief intro. You explain two things, why they should watch and how long the video is going to run. Most people don't like open-ended commitments. Also, give them the value. The third step is where you actually deliver whatever information you promised in your title. YouTube videos are great places to explain concepts. Okay, so if your video is titled, what is Facebook, Facebook Timeline? Okay, so if your video is titled, what is Facebook Timeline? 
This is the part where you'd explain all the key ins and outs of Facebook's latest overhaul. Recap with a conclusion. Referring back to our old marketing proverb, this is the part where you tell them what you told them. You may say something like, today we learn what Facebook timeline is and how it works. Advise them. Offer some advice based on the information you just gave the viewer. It may be a recommendation, encouragement, or even a warning. You just need to impart some helpful advice. Call to action, CPA. You didn't produce this video just because you had some extra time to kill, did you? Of course not. That's why you need to memorize this mantra, read, lead, or buy. All of your videos should have CTA that asks, that's call to action. Viewers to become a reader, subscribe to your list, or buy something. Right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to sleep. Or Jim or whoever does. It's amazing to see how many YouTube marketers miss out on this step completely. Drag at the end. Once you deliver the CTA, leave a little dead time for emphasis, maybe a minute or two. It may just be silent with an arrow pointing down to the link you're promoting. You don't, wanna, you don't want the video to simply end because Google will immediately suggest other videos inside the player. Then your link will totally disappear. Video type. Talking head. Oh, crap. Okay, video type. Up, 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 up. Come on, man. My hands are not in the right position for this mouse. Okay, so here we go. Video type. Talking head. These days, talking head videos don't result in much as engagement as other options. And engagement is the key. Okay. There are two psychological reasons for this. First, talking head videos are rampant on YouTube, and thus, these videos don't seem good. They're passe and boring. Second, your face, speech. Mannerisms and posture become a liability in a video. While the viewer tries to focus in on your message, their subconscious will be judging your appearance or your accent. Okay, face it. Some of us aren't pretty enough for TV. That's why we recommend cartoon talking heads if you're going to go that route. Where the talking head video really shines is personal branding. Uh, if your object is to build your brand to become a recognized expert in your field, talking head videos are excellent. Um, if you do choose to go with a talking head format, we strongly suggest that you clearly display your personal branding information, Facebook, Twitter, URL, best spot, yada, yada, get your screen capture videos. As we discussed above, visuals often can be distracting, thus more distracting variables can eliminate the easier prospects of focus to focus on your message. One of the best ways to do this through a screen, through a screen capture video where the viewer listens to your voice as they watch what's happening on your computer monitor. I agree. This format's excellent for software demos and how-to videos. It allows you to give helpful advice and then present a call to action asking your viewer to click the link below to your video. Whatever. Okay. Um, screen capture software like um, Camtasia for PC and ScreenFlow for Mac allow you to make videos using only your computer and a microphone. Presentations. This is one of our favorite ways to produce videos at Digital Marketer because it's super simple and it's been testing off the charts. This format consists of a PowerPoint or keynote presentation that's been filmed with screen capture software and then combined with a voiceover. Here's the really interesting thing. This format isn't pretty, but it can be very effective. We found the combination of text and voice narration is almost hypnotic. Some of our highest converting videos have consisted of a smooth voice talking and plain black text and a white background. Really, Prezi. When you're looking to turn up the graphic wow factor, Prezi is an excellent tool. In short, Prezi, that's P-R-E-Z-I, is the cure for the common slideshow presentation. This software makes creating engaging animated videos a snap in a very short time. You can create slick professional presentations that don't detract from the core message. Stock puppet videos. Don't laugh. They actually work. Okay, laugh if you want, but these videos get tons of views because they're basically a pattern interrupt. You were searching on YouTube. You saw a sock puppet video in a sidebar. You click on it, right? GoAnimate.com. Just like a sock puppet, animated videos do and look like cartoons, and they're very noticeable and disarming. 
services like Go Animate are incredibly easy to use. Just create your characters, type in dialogue, and you can even change characters and motions, and actually, it's pretty fun. All right, um, paper cuts, common crap. You know what I'm going to do right there? I want to check that out. GoAnimate.com. Okay, I think GoAnimate.com. GoAnimate.com. We're going to go over to GoAnimate.com. Cool, we're going to come back to you later. Hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, there you go. Paper Cuts Common Craft Org. This service usually creates instructional demo videos using paper cutouts, dry erase board. While conspicuously low tech, these videos have proven themselves to be one of the most engaging formats on YouTube. Once again, it's the simplicity of the format that makes a video so effective. There's not much uh, that's left open to interpretation. If you're feeling really crafty, you can make your own paper cut videos using a program called StopMotionPro.com. Doodle Videos, Sellamations.com videos that feature voiceover narration illustrated by an artist's hand doodling images on a white background, like in those UPS commercials, in the most powerful format we found yet. Search for yourself. If there's a doodle video posted for a given topic in YouTube, it's usually the most viewed video for that topic. These quick draw videos make for impressive presentations, but taken from us, they are very difficult to pull off. That's why we recommend hiring Cellmations if you want a professional quality video. Otherwise, a hand-drawn presentation with all the shadows and mess-ups can just be effective. Um, the reason why the, the, the powerful um, people like to watch other people drawing to see what the final product is, so you have staying power. Psychologically, we get caught up in anticipation to see what it's going to look like. I like that. A listing optimization, optimizing your listing is really stage two of the process. Stage one is produce a video that's worth watching and not boring or terrible. With Panda Update, Google is focusing on quality factors like time on a page. If visitors click on your video but then bounce off in three seconds because it's boring, you're fighting a losing battle. Conversely, if someone lands on your enthralling video, hangs out for a few minutes, you can get a dominant edge in your YouTube rankings. Here's the um, best way to optimize your listing. Uh, video title stacking. Before you even upload your video on YouTube, you need to absolutely zero on exactly what keyword phrase you'll be targeting. Then, retitle your raw video to a file name that uses that keyword phrase. For example, if you chose political copywriting, as your phrase, then name your clip political copywriting.mov or whatever the proper video format is. While YouTube doesn't actually list a file name anywhere publicly, your video's file name is definitely a ranking factor. We've been able to confirm this in our testing. Why is the file name so important? Because Google's algorithm says so. Next time it's okay, next is time to add a title on YouTube. Uh, this is easy and the most important step in optimizing your YouTube listing search or for your search engine optimization. And oddly enough, we discovered something pretty funny about Google's algorithm. Years ago, marketers used an old search engine strategy optimization thing uh, called title stacking. Basically, it's the practice of listing your keyword twice in a title with slight variations. For example, you might choose a title like political copywriting. Perry Belcher writes political copy. Oh, Perry Belcher, my boy. Okay. Well, guess what? This tactic still works in YouTube. This tactic can get you double relevancy in YouTube. How to do the business of commercial modeling and acting without getting ripped off? A simple guide for new talent. Okay, anyway. When you combine this keyword double play uh, with the file name trick, you also get powerful search engine optimization trifecta. Tag ripping. Okay, it sounds like tag ripping is all about finding the most competitive videos. Uh, for your chosen search term and swiping all of their relevant tags. For, exist, for instance, say your keyword term is Forex Practice Account. Simply search the term in YouTube and see which videos come up. Then copy all the tags from the top three videos. There you go. You've taken all the guesswork out of tagging your video. These tags have already proven themselves to be the ones Google likes best for this topic. All the tags are public, so it's not sneaky. It's just simple. Okay, the description tricks. First thing is you want to include a link to your main website <coughs> somewhere in the first line of your description. The closer to the front, the easier for your link to be found. Remember, 
you must include the entire URL, including the HTTPP. Okay, in the body of the description, we often the same voiceover script that used to produce That's because it was well written. That script should be loaded with relevant keywords. It is also contained in semantically related terms. Google checks for generalized data generate quality scores. Last of all, your video has posted that you want to go back and edit your description again. At the tail end of your description, um, paste the YouTube video's actual URL. Sounds crazy? The reason we do that is YouTube is constantly being scraped by aggregators and automated content sites. These aggregators automatically post to the content of their sites, including URLs. For example, only an hour after we posted a political copywriting video, we, it was already ranked 10. Two spots above it in eighth place, was an automated content blog with our video embedded. Oh man, crazy. Yeah, I see what they're saying. But here's um, the really good part. Underneath the video, that blog is posted in our description with a big juicy backlink to our YouTube video. Captions and annotations. YouTube allows you to insert captions and annotations throughout your video by clicking the plus sign on the right side of your player. These are great places to insert other keyword variations. That's great. Don't go overboard when it comes to nations. Try to overstuff those little blocks. Okay, five-minute video SEO. At this point in the process, you've created an engaging video, uploaded and tagged with written description. Now it's time for all-stage CEO or food gracious. So I'm tired. Of that. Okay, um, okay. For this, you're going to need to add a new word, at least new spelling to your vocabulary. Fiber, fiber, fiber. What is fiber? Well, fiber is a new word that we're going to learn. And I don't Fiverr is a word that we're going to use, and Fiverr.com is an amazing, oh, this chair sucks. Okay, Fiverr.com is an amazing resource resource for search engine optimization works. It's how we get our political copywriting video on the front page of Google in less than 24 hours. Specifically, we found an expert on Fiverr that specializes in search engine optimization for YouTube videos. This guy literally grabbed our video and uploaded it to all the video sites inside traffic geyser for five dollars. Here's the key to making the strategy work for you. It's where 99 percent of marketers make a huge mistake. I'm so glad Perry Belcher is the one who's writing this. I trained by him. Anyway, um, whatever network you choose to distribute your video, whether it's high traffic geyser, hay, speak bread, or tube mogul, make sure these postings include a link back to your YouTube video page, not your main home page. Here's why it works. First, all the descriptions will be similar, which builds relevance. Second, YouTube loves backlinks from other video sites. Other experts on Fiverr will add your video to 500 plus social bookmarks for five bucks. Possibilities are practically endless. We are constantly amazed by how many tasks we can delegate to people on Fiverr. It's phenomenal, advanced tip. We recommend that you just go ahead and drop 25 bucks on Fiverr's SEO experts immediately after uploading your YouTube video. Always look for service providers who have an excellent gig rating. And you pretty much can't go wrong. YouTube is the new Twitter. And finally, we'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention this one very important YouTube concept. YouTube is no longer just a video search site. It has aspirations to become a top-tier social networking site as well. That means the more friends, likes, viewers, engagement your videos get, the better they will rank. If you're looking to maximize your YouTube channel's social engagement. We've heard nothing but positive feedback about Tube Toolbox. This service is notable for being highly effective for playing by the rules of YouTube's terms of service. The takeaway. YouTube is one of the largest, most visited websites in the world. Unfortunately for us, it's also one of the easiest places to get massive amounts of traffic with uh, minimal effort. And that's fortunately for us, yeah. By utilizing the best practices in this report, you can now create engaging videos, dominate SEO, and send your videos surging up. The search ranking is on both YouTube and Google. It's an amazingly powerful strategy, and it will help you position yourself for growth as the video onslaught powers on across the web. But the best part, the real cherry on the top, is how unbelievably fast this strategy can improve your search ranking. So get started today, and you may be on page one of Google tomorrow. Nice little ending. Perry Belcher, did you write that? I'm pretty sure you did. Published by Idea Incubator LP, and they're located 4330 Gaines Ranch Loop, Suite 120, Austin, Texas, 78735. This website that provided this information is http colon 
forward slash forward slash www.digitalmarketer.com. Email is uh, support at drivingtraffic.com. And my name is Stu Sesney, and I bought Ryan Dice's little $7 kit, and I'm glad I did. This is a ton of good information. It was short, sweet, simple, and powerhouse. And uh, I need a guy like Ryan on my team. So, thank you, and have a wonderful day. And I hope it's uh, going to be a better day today than it was yesterday. See ya.